these are some of the names. I hope you all can see the names. And online also you can see this name. I just took up some sample. Look at, uh, and I've tracked uh, my data last 10, 15 years ka data. I have the data. I'm focusing on last five years. Look at the first seven, eight, five, ten ranks. Uh, Shruti Agarwal, uh, 2020, Subham uh, Kumar, 2019, Pradeep Singh. And look at the subjects. History, PSIR, Sociology, Geography, PSIR, Sociology, PSIR, Economics. Anthropology, Sociology, Philosophy, Economics, Physics, Sociology, Civil Engineering and Geography. Okay. Law. Mathematics is now added here. Look at this one here. Mathematics, number one. Anthropology, Geography, Sociology, Law. Okay, uh, Geography, Mathematics, again Law. And if you see this, if you see the trends across, uh, look at the, again subjects. So fundamentally, it is four or five subjects that actually matter. And they give you results. If you take the list, this year's list was even incredible. Where people from Sanskrit, uh, from regional languages, uh, law, economics, physics, all type of, even chemistry, medical science. I don't know, look at uh, Telugu literature. Um, in this, uh, uh, no, 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 in this one. This was in top 10 of uh, medical science also. And look at the ones, okay? Uh, 280. Uh, this is an unusual low mark, 258. Uh, this guy must have been tremendous in GS and maybe interview. Otherwise, look at the marks. Uh, 320, 284, uh, 283, 290, uh, 367. 335 and n marks are both subjects. Okay, if I not this one, look at this one. The marks that uh, people have got in your these have been my students also uh, in uh, 316, 362. Okay, this was uh, uh, Lakshmi among the highest marks in optionals, anthropology, philosophy. So, my, what I'm trying to show you is three things. Well, mainly from four or five optionals among the top ones. All subjects give you results. The people qualifying from law, Sanskrit, economics is a very technical subject, physics also. People qualify from all optionals. One, number two. Those who qualify, they get the marks required. And those who qualify, they touch and cross 280 to 90, 300. So, if looking at a cohort, okay, uh, there's a cohort of people who are qualified. There's a huge difference of marks. Now, you tell me, when you go out and ask students, okay, how much marks are you getting? Uh, what is your uh, uh, comfort level? Who will you meet more? Will you meet the guys who have qualified more or guys not qualified more? Who will you meet more? Okay, not They are gone, correct? You can't access them. So if you have to judge the process of preparation, the subject of preparation, okay, who should you actually be asking? People who have qualified. Unfortunately, you don't ask them. Either because you don't know how to ask them or reach them. But if you are a capable person to qualify, you will get marks. In same note, same approach. One guy gets 319, 290. And I think as human nature, very few of us have the to blame it on the, the subject, blame it on the system, blame it on UPSC, on the teacher, on the course. If I'm looking at, okay, is it possible to score? Absolutely. And this is not just geography, okay? It is for all subjects. But if every one person is qualifying, there are up. So, so it's like, 
Do subjects give you marks? Yes, they do. But is it easy to qualify? I say no. So this data, and I can go on this. 